Now, Infertility Awareness Week on Eyewitness News, brought to you by the Center for Advanced Reproductive Services. This week is National Infertility Awareness Week, and all week long we'll be bringing you stories of some different ways that modern medicine has helped people on their journey to parenthood. Now tonight, we're introducing you to two, two sisters, one with uh, unbreakable bond. Channel 3's Irene O'Connor has their story. I was devastated every single time. For Elizabeth Guadino and her husband, the road to parenthood has not been easy after she miscarried twins at 20 weeks. And so the doctors were sort of saying to me, you know, this isn't the healthiest uterus that they've seen, but I really am stubborn and I didn't want to give up on myself. Several rounds of in vitro fertilization and more miscarriages followed. Doctors at the Center for Advanced Reproductive Services recommended Elizabeth's have someone else carry the pregnancy. It was devastating and I didn't really want to believe it until my sister finally was like, you need to just stop putting your body through this emotionally and physically and just let me carry it. Elizabeth's sister, Anna, was no stranger to pregnancy loss. So I had three miscarriages before I was pregnant with Penelope. She says it made her decision to carry her sister's child an easy one. I know they say like everything happens for a reason with miscarriages and I, nobody likes to believe that. But I think that that kind of like helped me emotionally know what she was going through to be able to like do that, to carry for her. Anna was a gestational carrier for Elizabeth. A gestational carrier is a person who carries a pregnancy for another person or couple, and that person is just using their uterus to help carry the pregnancy. Dr. Andrea Di Luigi is a reproductive endocrinologist at the center and Elizabeth's doctor. She says the decision to use a gestational carrier is becoming more common. People use carriers for different reasons. So um, the most common reason is a person or um, a couple has had a difficult time carrying a pregnancy to term, or um, a person or a couple may have had um, severe complications in a previous pregnancy. Carriers have to go through a rigorous screening process to make sure they're both physically and mentally fit to carry another person's baby. They also have to be reliable and willing to follow medical advice. If a cesarean section is recommended by the obstetrician, uh, that carrier has to be willing to comply with that and follow through and do what's right for the baby and for the couple. It's not an easy thing to do, but something that was no question for Anna. I mean, it was nice being pregnant with her. Um, it was kind of hard because I like to, I kind of complained a lot to her, but then at the end of the day, it's like, well, I mean, she would much rather be pregnant, so I should probably stop complaining about it. A long road to parenthood now realized in baby Charlotte. Now it's like awesome. I want like a million more. Irene O'Connor, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Oh, what a great story.